This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit. I'm on the lesson Getting Properties. Let's see. Change. This program has events that detect three different changes. The toggle switch, the interval slider, and the frequency slider. Because there are so many different things that cause the LED and buzzer to reset, it uses functions to organize the code. This makes sense. Good. Do this. Read the up update LED function to see what it does. Add code to the update buzzer function to make the buzzer only turn on when the toggle switch is open. Okay. So first read the update LED function to see what it does. Oh, and I bet we want to look at that to update buzzer to make the buzzer only turn on when it opens. Okay. So update LED is right here. Okay. And then, all right, so what do they do? They make this variable interval, and they're going to use that for how often the LED should blink. Well, in update buzzer right here, we already have this variable frequency. I'm going to, so it's not at the very bottom of the page. Hit enter a bunch of times. Go back to blocks. Um, they already have up uh, this variable frequency, and we're grabbing the frequency ID item, which is this grabbing its value and assigning that to the variable frequency. So whatever value this is at, our variable frequency over here is going to be equal to. Then what we do is we take the buzzer and we say, okay, the buzzer dot frequency and set it equal to, well, our variable frequency. But they only want it to do that uh, they only want it to do that. This program has three different changes. The toggle switch, yep. And they only want it to buzz when the toggle switch is open. So when if toggle switch is open, they want it to buzz. Otherwise, it shouldn't be. So I'm going to go if, just like they did up here, if else. But instead of LED, we're going to use the buzzer. So buzzer stop, which is like LED off. Remember, else happens only if this is false so toggle switch is open and what do we want if the toggle switch is open well we want to do something if the toggle switch is open so i can put that in my if statement down here too except we don't want to change the led we want to change the buzzers frequency to be equal to this frequency so what this code does now is when this function is executed which is up here Remember, this just means it's stored down here. It only runs when we ask it to. And when do we ask it to? Well, on the board event of toggle switch change. So when there's a change in the toggle switch, it runs this code. And what it first does is run the function update LED. So it comes down here, runs all of this code, hits the bottom, goes back up here, runs the next line, which is update buzzer, which goes all the way through here. Now, for an if statement, remember, inside the if statement, this stuff only runs if the if statement is true. Otherwise, if there's an else, else runs. It will never run else, if statement, and the else. Let me show you what I mean. So, if the toggle switch is open, and let's say true, yes, it is open, then we are going to change the buzzer's frequency to whatever we grab from over here. And skip the else. However, if the toggle switch is not open, the computer says false, toggle switch isn't open, we don't run this code. It would just skip that code and automatically make sure the buzzer stopped and hit the bottom. All right, let's test this all out. So, oh, uh, let me test. I always have problems with my toggle switch. That's so small. Oh, that is annoying. Okay, wait. Oh. I'm not sure this is a good thing. Why oh, am I making music? <laughs> okay, that's enough for now. Victory! <laughs>